Larry Shepard asks, what's your cash flow after expenses with what you have now? Oh man. Okay. So current, I'll give you current. I'm not, and then I'll tell you what pro forma is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So this is where, this is where we could get all like, I can make it sound mind blowing and be so sick for TikTok. Right. But I'm going to tell you the real deal. Okay. So real deal. Let's talk about the, the two single families. Those will probably gross 90 comfortably each. Okay. So we'll just call it 90 each. It's 180, 90K. probably 90K each. All right. Okay. And uh, we'll, we'll we'll just call it a 50% expense ratio. But then, you know, we got to reduce by debt. So, worst case, I'll personally own 50% just my part pull a grand net per month but what i really do i don't even track that because i use that money i don't like pay myself mm-hmm. when i use that to buy other deals right gotcha yep so what you do is just assume 50 percent operate 50 percent yep. um you know operating expenses there uh the hotel um <clears throat> I found out because it's syndicated, I can't share exact numbers. But anyways, it's okay. It grosses, it grosses a lot. Previously, yep. it grossed about a half mil. We can operate off fifty. It, they were not operating at fifty percent expense ratio. It was lower, so you know, low two hundreds, mm-hmm. and that it will increase it a lot. So yep. we'll grow it to. Actually, maybe I can because it's a case study. I don't know how far this goes because it's recorded, but. We'll increase <laughs> our gross income to a lot, really high 800 yeah. off that property. And again, 50% expense ratio. So I own six mm-hmm. personally, my LLC, because we syndicated it, I had to do a lot of stuff to make that deal work for all of us. I personally own 16% of that one property. Right? Gotcha. Austin owns another 16%. We have two more GP partners mm-hmm. and then we have a bunch of LPs right private investors who invested with us and so in that syndication how much did you raise for that um did you put any of your own personal money i did yes yep so there's 50k now in our fundable emd there so me and austin covered that we covered all due diligence we were probably all in 90 95 or something like that i would say probably 95 Mm -hmm. to be safe uh we raised 1.34 mil Okay. Uh, which includes all of our renovation and design budget. So all new furniture, all of that stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think that answers all of your questions. Real quick, how can the community here help you sure. with your future endeavors? And then um, how can we, they get a hold of you in order to help you out? Okay, cool. So the uh, you can find me on all social media, TikTok. TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, mm-hmm. at Nick Bastinelli or at the Bastinelli team. Um, so that's how you can find me. My phone number is everywhere on the internet. It's available. Um, <laughs> and then how you, you can help me. I would like to see as many deals as possible. I'm happy to bring mm-hmm. people in if you, however you want. If you bring the deal, I'll make sure there's a way that you are compensated. But I am mm-hmm. looking you know, primarily for apartment complexes. I will also look at self storage, triple net and ins, you know, the bigger, the better. I have no cap, no cap on budget. Um, Michigan would be cool, but you can send me stuff wherever we underwrite really quickly. So send me anything you think is a deal. That's for sure. Send them all. Gotcha. Nick at bastinelli.team is the email. Yeah. Nick at bastinelli teams. Uh, Bastinelli.team, yep. Bastinelli.team, yeah, so okay. It. Yep, I'll put it in this little chat box here. Yeah. There we go. And then at Bastinelli, at the Bastinelli team. There you go. You got it all. Awesome. Did I put that in private so, chat or is that with everybody? It, it's in private chat, but I'm, I'm copying it over to the regular chat here. So... Cool. Uh, but yeah, so we can do um, 
and see here, I'm continuing to do that. But um, so what primarily, so you're, do you, do you own homes in the local Metro Detroit area besides your personal Yeah, so home? I, nope, it's my primary. Just your primary? Yep. Okay. Yeah, so I'm like very not opposed to owning stuff that I don't, actually for me, uh, this is the thing I was like, really thinking about and concerned about in like early before I actually got involved in real estate investments. Like when I first got involved in real estate and sales and I'm reading all mm -hmm. these books and all these podcasts and I think, man, I got to be close to the things I own. And now I actually don't, I actually don't want to be close at all because gotcha. I think people fall into the trap of then doing stuff on their own, mm -hmm. which allows you to not operate it like a system, like a business or, you know, put processes in place. So yep. I know that I'm forced to treat it well and treat it like a business and set up all the stuff that I should to make it run to the best of its ability if I can't drive to it, you know, in seven minutes. And I love that. And that's one thing that I think is really interesting about your system is that you're doing the automation. Um, mm -hmm. I think the automation and you treat it like a business in the way it is, that's going to help you expand the fact that you did that early on um yeah is 100 percent help help you grow for the future uh, long term so um yeah I, my, my day job i work in the automotive industry and we do testing oh, cool. and some automation so i i 100 nice. understand that so yep yeah so even like uh so I would love, you know, I, we have short term rentals. We're getting to be known for that sort of thing, which is cool. But even like on apartments, I would do the exact same thing. Like I'm totally not nervous to be really far away from those. I would prefer it. Yep. I would still have multiple layers. So I, mm. you know, right now we would have a property manager <clears throat> for like apart for those people who are doing apartments or even single family, I would have a property manager. And then for us in the apartment world, we would have an asset manager, which for now is me and Austin. But eventually as we scale up, we'll hire an asset manager who will come in. And so there'll be multiple layers of oversight on all these properties always, because we just want to make sure they're really well taken care of. That's awesome. So uh, Larry Shepard asked, uh, what's your underwriting process for properties out of state? Determine what you want to invest there. And when do you, and when you get a deal sent to you? I'm mm -hmm. uh, sorry. Okay, uh, cool. Invest there when you get a deal sent to you. Yeah. Yeah, so um, it depends on the asset, but let's just say like, you know, apartments because they're easy. Uh, basically what I would do is I'd be trying to get on the phone with somebody who operates in that market. No, you're not on the phone, maybe it's Facebook. It's probably actually gonna be Facebook in my commercial group. Mm -hmm. And I'll figure out what um, those pro like properties in that area of that asset class. So let's just use apartments. I'm just gonna make some, make some place up. Like say, let's say apartments in like Georgia. I try and get in contact with somebody who's like a very active apartment investor in Georgia. Or mm -hmm. if I don't know anybody, then I call commercial uh, commercial real estate brokers in Georgia in that area. Mm -hmm. And all I'm trying to do is I'm figuring out the cap rate that those are trading at, right? For like a mm -hmm. nice renovated, updated place. I'm always looking for a light value add in like C plus and above areas. Okay, so I don't want like war zone stuff or total gut, like I got to start from like framed, you know, apartment or something. Mm -hmm. But I'm just figuring out a cap rate and then I'm just running it through a calculator essentially. I mean, commercial properties are pretty easy to do like napkin numbers on. Um, so yeah, I just utilize that cap rate to figure out what my offer is at that point in time. You know, <clears throat> if I know the value, I'll reduce it by that. But there's a gazillion calculators out there. Like we have you know, a legacy family calculator from Nick Burton. I mean, just look up like mm -hmm. underwriting calculator for apartments and you'll find a bunch online. Um, who's that other guy? Invest with Ace, I think has a good calculator. David Tupin, I don't know if I'm saying his name right. He has a calculator. So we utilize those, but I think mm -hmm. you should also be able to, you know, honestly, you need to be able to evaluate the numbers yourself. Yep. So when I look at a property first, all I'm asking right off the bat, is like, hey, what needs to be done in this property? You know, like have the kitchens and bathrooms been updated so I can get a ballpark renovation number per room. Mm -hmm. And then um, I ask for a net operating income and that's literally all I need, 
right? Mm -hmm. So do you want me to actually, I mean, I can do one if you guys want a simple one. I'll take one. Yeah, that'd be great. 90 seconds. Okay, cool. So let me see if I can math this out real quick. So let's just say somebody tells, I'm just gonna make it up so it's really easy for us, all right? Mm -hmm. Let's just say, I don't even care about the units. Let's just say <clears throat> somebody tells me their net operating income on an apartment complex, this exactly the same for short-term rentals, or short-term rental, like an inn, has a 100K net operating income, all right? Now, mm -hmm. I know that, let's use apartments, okay? Say they're trading at six and a half cap, I'm dividing by 0 0.065, that's six and a half percent. Now I know my max allowable offer, 1.538. Say I know there's 100K in renovation, whatever. Now I'm at 1.438 is my offer on that thing, All right? 1.438 so, million? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you just keep going, you know, like just get really, like go online and watch YouTubes on like, how to use net operating income to figure out an offer. It's pretty easy. Mm -hmm. So it was like, it's confusing when you start, or I mean, it was for me, but then you just, yeah. it's just like anything, right? It's like evaluating mm -hmm. a flip or like a long-term rental or shit, single family, like wholesale deal. The more you do it, the better it is. So I just make, you know, a goal for myself of maybe evaluating like two properties per day until I get really comfortable and can just do it right off the bat. Gotcha, okay. So yeah, Andrew, Andrew uh, Castine says super easy value equals NOI divide by cap rate. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yep. Totally. Yep. So, um, 100%, uh, or value times cap rate equals projected NOI. So, mm -hmm. you know, um, so yeah, just look up, I mean, look up that, whatever, look up the math problems yeah. online. Those are, yeah, it's, it's pretty simple. I love commercial cause it's literally just a math problem. <laughs> Like, you know, single family, we're having to pull comps, same city, same school district, usually within a mile, same style of home. But commercial is literally just a math problem. Like if I increase that operating income by X amount, then the value of the property goes up by X amount and I really think that. Gotcha. Okay. Awesome. So, um, so we already got people hollering to get a hold of you. Um, and yep. you know, if they want to get anything, is there any, um, last words that you want to reach out to anybody to, you know, if they, um, come across anything, they can get a hold of you and, or anything like that. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys can all text me 248-826-1533. That goes like right through my CRM. So I'll be able to like save your number in there and not lose it, which is great. Emails Nick gotcha. at Rasnaya.team. team. You know where to find me on social media. I mean, legitimately send me any commercial deal that you actually mm -hmm. think is, please don't send me stuff that's like, you already know it's not gonna work out. But if it's gotcha. a cool deal, send it along. We will check it out. We'll find a way to get you involved if you send it to us. Awesome. So great, awesome, and glad to have you. I really appreciate you spending the time with me and, and coming on here and adding value to everybody here. Hopefully you can sure. at least get one deal out of it. <laughs> so, yeah, I would love it. That would be know. great. Thanks again for having yeah. me. Yeah. Really worth it. Yeah, I appreciate the time. Not a problem at all. So, um, and again, anybody out there who is watching this, whether you're on YouTube or on my Facebook channel, please uh, connect with Nick, get a hold of him, send him deals, and we can go from there. That way we can all do deals together. So, all right. Mm -hmm. Let's do it up. Sounds awesome. good. Thanks, Randy. I appreciate it, Todd. No problem. Thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. Everyone have a great day. And thank you for showing up for another episode of Real Estate Talk with Randy Stedwell. This is episode four in the books. Have a good day. Bye, everybody. Thanks.